Hello, my name is Alison Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com and in this video I'll be showing how you can add a newsfeed reader in your .NET Nook website. So first of all, what is a newsfeed reader, an RSS feed reader? Basically, it's a, it's a mechanism, it's a, it's a feature that you can read information, you can read news from other websites and show those those news, those highlights inside of your own website. So uh, sites like the CNN or some other news websites out there, they provide uh, feed uh, RSS uh, feeds that your site can consume them, can show them. But how can you go about doing that in a .NET Nook website? So here's an example. Uh, we, I have I have chosen CNN.com has a has a bunch of RSS feeds available, and what you're gonna do is we're gonna select top stories to show in our own website. So here's what we have to do in our .NET website. First, we have to log in as host because we have to add a new module to our website. So we have to log in as host. And we have to install our newsfeed reader module in our .NET Nook website. Now, where is this module from? Where does this module come from? This module is coming from .NET Nook website. We have to log in to .NET Nook website to download the module. So this is my .NET Nook user. I'm going to log in. Don't worry about the way it's showing the menu here. My, my browser shows in a weird way dot that website here but no worries about that so let's just go to the very top click on download and under download let's go to dot that to projects so under projects we have to choose the where is it where is it okay so here it is we have to choose the module news feeds so we have to download the install package I'm going to download this to my local computer. I agree. Save this locally. And I'm going to open the location. Here's the folder that it has saved. I'm going back to my site. I'm going to install the new module under host, module definitions. And then from here, I go to the action menu, install module. And then from here, I click on browse. I put the path. Here's my module. Again, the module is called Newsfeed. I'm going to open this, click Next, and click Next again. Next, accept the license. And after the installation is done, I click on Return. And the module should be... Again, this module will read the RSS feed that is coming from another website and it will display that content within our website. So let's see if the module is installed properly. So here's the module, news feeds RSS. And by RS, uh, for those who don't know what RSS means, is real simple syndication or rich site summary. Different people translate that in different ways. So we will create a new page just to demonstrate how you can set up this module. And I will call this page as news. On new, I will call this news, and this will be available to our users. And click update. I'm just gonna delete the text HTML module that is there, and I'm going to add the news feeds module in this page. I'm going to add it here. Now we have to go to the action menu. And we have to edit new news feeds. And from here, we have to click on add feed. And from here, what we have to do is we have to go to the site that we want to bring the feeds from. And this is the site that I have, again, as an example. This is from CNN. I'm getting the top stories uh, feeds that they, they provide. I'm going to copy this URL, which is the feed URL. 
I'm going back to my site. I'm going to paste this inside of my feed URL field. And I'm not going to worry about user and password. This is an open RSS feed. And I'm just going to update here. I'm going to... And with within just one news feed module, you can add multiple feeds to it. But in, the, in our case, I'm just going to add one. I'm going to update this. And here in my site, you can see by this little animation here, it's loading the content. So you see this content here that I see, the link, the name, the, the brief content, the date, everything here is coming from CNN. And I'm displaying that inside my website. So there are still a couple of options that we can select if we go to the action menu. And if we go to the settings, I just want to cover a couple of different options there. Um, basically, I think the most important thing here to mention is that you can select different ways to display the content, different ways to display the, the news, the, the list of news. There are some predefined ones. You can definitely, if you, if you have the ability, you can definitely create your own. But again, this is too advanced for this video. So you can select a different way of displaying the news, like a, like a scrolling bar. You can display, you can tell it how many items you want to display. Here, minus one will display all items coming from the feed. And you can say that you want to use Ajax or not. And so let's, for now, let's just select a new type of transformation, a new way of showing that, of showing the, the news. Let's click update and let's see how it looks like, you see? Now it's it's coming from the bottom up, and so it's showing this nice effect. If you move the mouse over, it will stop. So again, those are just different ways that you can set up the news feed so it can show the content in a slightly different, in a slightly more interesting way. So if you go to settings again, we can go back this to the default. We can say that, you know what, I just want to display four items just in case I don't have much space. So it's displaying only the top four items. And again, so basically this is the way you can go about setting up an RSS feed reader because it's reading from an, an outside website into your website. And again, we just give, uh, I just gave an example by using the CNN website. So basically this is it for now. Thank you very much. Bye.